been a powerful morning. This is the transition from listening and speaking. We've heard stories, we've heard statistics, we've heard impact, we've heard lots of different things this morning. And now we're going to actually get on our feet and move. So upon arrival at the gate, Chizu Hamada will lead us in a traditional Japanese bond dance to honor our ancestors and those who perished in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And I would say also to express the deep apology of those who, whose ancestors dropped the bombs. Following the dance, sirens will sound in remembrance of the atomic bombs dropped by the United States on Hiroshima and Nagasaki on August 6th and 9th, 1945. The sirens will signal a die-in. Those who choose may lay, lie down and be outlined in chalk in the ga gate area, and some may choose to get up and leave their outline when the order is given to disperse. Others may choose to stay in position and risk arrest. Some may choose to risk arrest by standing in the gate area in front of the prone bodies and outlines. So if you don't lie down on the ground but want to get arrested, you stand in front of the gate. I want to say, I want to invite us all to hold what we're doing in the context of everything that we heard this morning. So we're going to the gate and we're doing it in response to the fact that our government is amassing nuclear weapons, is spending our money to do it, and that people's lives are being impacted, all of us, because we're in that 50 mile radius. So as we walk, let's honor each other and honor all of the communities that are impacted by this terrible thing that the government is doing in our name. And so, as we open this morning by giving love and thanks for all of our relatives, we end this part and move into the marching and drumming and dancing, recognizing that we stand on the shoulders of those who came before us and that everything we do today and in all of our lives has an impact for the next seven generations. And so, as you walk, Walk with them in mind, because this is your gift to the future ones. Nagasaki and visited the museum, you will see, and you may have seen in other media, photographs where the only thing left of human bodies was a smudge on the steps, a smudge on the sidewalk. And so the solemn act of chalking around your body is to evoke and to commemorate 
the fact that human beings are vaporized by even a crude nuclear weapon. Jackie and I will sound the alarm, like the air raid alarm that sounded. Imagine a bomb falling. Tara and Stefan and others have chalk. Can you raise your hand with the chalk? Okay, and they will help chalk your body. If you want to do this, please take a drink of water now or take water in with you because it is warm. When they, as you heard at the rally site, but I'll repeat this, when they decide that they are ready, in terms of the laboratory, they will open the gates and there will be an order to disperse. No one is risking arrest until there's an order to disperse. So know that this is part of the action that is not risking arrest. When the order to disperse happens, some people may choose to go to the gate. They will arrest those people and process them first. Others may choose to stay solemnly in their shadow. They will come out and do those arrests last. So again, bring water. Um, with that, I'm going to leave you to think solemnly of that moment. You're going about your daily life in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You're with your family. You're shopping. You're having food together. Hiroshima and Fukushima connection was really part of my life. I was born year of, of nuclear Holocaust in Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I grew up with every siren I worried about. <laughs> so this is became my work. I was born the siren of B-29 carpet bombing, Tokyo. Then I realized that Hiroshima was bombed. And so all my childhood, I lived with the fear, as many of American people did too. The nuclear holocaust. Now, we came after so many years that we no longer can live with this fear. How we can transform this fear to love. The love that, the, our love for this earth. It's a time to go back to love and especially women who worked in this issue so, so many years. Like you, that we have such the feeling of comrade, that fighting together with this, it's not time to fight anymore. It is the love that changes, that transforms. So let's have a fun and dance and sing. All young people, you know, especially the young people in the 20s 
or even teens don't know the fear of nuclear. This is a time to teach them, to be together with them, that so many women worked on this issue, make a video. It's the message is here to, to work together with the young people who was left, was left with this legacy without knowing what it is, how dangerous this is. It's a time to work with them. And grandmothers are with you. All the grandmothers worked for peace. They're all here today. They will work with you. It is our legacy, it's our responsibility that left you such a horrible world for you people. I am so sorry for what we've done promoting nuclear energy in Japan, making it safe. I am very responsible that I couldn't make this happen while they were planning it. Now the time. And Vasco to risk arrest there. There are only four gates into the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory and we are blocking two of the four gates. Half of the gates at this nuclear weapons facility are now closed. So we're coming around with water. If you feel that you need to get up out of your shadow, please feel free. If you can stay in your shadow and want to stay in your shadow, please feel free. Take care of yourself. Ask us for any help that you need. And this place is halfway, not metaphorically shut down, but literally shut down. Someone has asked to say a couple words to us, who I met on Facebook. She sent me a message when she saw our action to say that her mother was an A-bomb survivor. And so I want uh, to let her say a couple of words. Thank you. My mother is Ritsuko Kuroiwa. She was in the Nagasaki bomb. She was 11 years old. She's still alive today. She would never come to something like this because you know, the Japanese people, they don't talk about stuff like this. This would be, you know, this would be horrifying to her. But can I just say that I do know that when it happened, she tried to go into the city and she said everything was just a blast. There was heat like coming off when you go near a barbecue, she said. There's just no way you can go around it. And people were just lying all over. She said that there was, there was blisters all over their bodies like potatoes, she said. They ate a lot of potatoes because they were starving. They were in the middle of war and they were starving. She, she said when the blast happened, her whole house went down and she was underneath the house. She said she saw stars. Then when she was walking around, people were just begging for water. They didn't have any water and they were burnt and they just kept begging everybody for water. So one of the ceremonies that um, Nagasaki and Hiroshima bomb survivors do is they give people water. So it is very significant that your friends here are walking up to you while you're laying there to give you water because that's what they wanted. They wanted water.
people of the state of California, I order you to disperse immediately. Failure to disperse will mean you are subject to arrest. Assembly. In the name of the people of the state of California, I order you to disperse the meeting. 